as I was just saying there, I was taking a drink of Monster and I felt it revitalise my veins. I hope this is still recording, guys. Um, I'm not sure because it's PlayStation, it's always difficult to map and you tell whether or not you're still recording or not. Um, if it's not recording, then this is, you know, this is a fucking disaster at the end of the day. But you know, whether it records or not, I'm prepared for it. And if the second part doesn't record, I can always just record another video. So it's not like that really matters because I have a lot of my uh, time on my hands these days. You know, probably have about a month here where I don't have to do much, and then I'll, after that, I'll have to get back into the way of things, but for this month anyways, I'm pretty much free, so since I have a lot of free time, I thought, you know, this would be the best time to revive my channel and do a lot of zombies on it, and yeah, I just hope this is recording, but if it's not recording, it's still good, because I got my monster here, mm. oh, that tastes absolutely glorious, and I have my, my game to play as well because you know fuck zombies you know it never gets old guys zombies never get old you know what I mean like damn I could be like fucking 50 years old and still be playing this game guys that's how good this game is this game fucking kicks ass and I fucking mean that you know definitely one of the best games I've ever played in my life definitely top five games I'm trying to get an on the house here because I want a uh, juggernog I mean, I am a absolute beast, so I don't need Juggernaut to survive, but uh, it would still help, I think, for my teammates to have me having Juggernaut so I can revive their asses easier, but, you know, there's absolutely no reason for me to need Juggernaut because I am invincible with or without it, and nothing that these zombies can do will harm me because I am an invaluable guard in comparison to these measly zombie hellions. It's actually unfair really just to see me slaughtering all of those beasts, sending them back to the hells they came from, vanquishing their treacherous souls. I must say, do I like how they got rid of the fog on that? Because there used to be a lot of fog in the Black Ops 1 version of the map and the World at War version of the map, so you couldn't really see the zombies, but I like the fact that you can see them now, so you can shoot them from like miles away. I think that makes the map a bit cooler. Although I understand, you know, some people might be pissed off that they got rid of the fog, because the fog obviously gave it a nice ambience to it, you know, a nice atmosphere. It was sort of more mysterious, and you didn't really understand what was going on. And it was sort of like the zombies were sneaking up on you, behind your back, coming for your throat, that kind of idea. So, I mean, yeah, guys, I, I understand, you know, there was two, uh, well, there was two, um, sides to every story, uh, story, so to speak, so. You know, I totally get that some guys might be pissed off that they removed the fog, but I think the only reason they had the fog in there to begin with, guys, was because... The, the rendering of the PlayStation 3 was not as uh, superior as the rendering of the PlayStation 4, so what that basically meant was on PlayStation 3 the graphics were a lot uh, worse, so to speak, you know, they were nerfed, so you couldn't really have all of these extra uh, models loading in the background of the map, in light of crashing the, uh, the system, the console, you know, they wouldn't be able to run it all, so they just, they just put in fog to uh, sort of alleviate um, the sheer amount of uh, traffic that the PlayStation would have to load at a time. And it would sort of just, you know, put less of a workload on the PlayStation so that the game could run. But uh, that's enough of my uh, lectures for today on computer science and games, consoles and how they run, etc, etc. Mm. Shit. Fuck. Fuck guys, this is this is dangerous here. 
I don't know if I like this area. <laughs> I might be just fucking getting out of here, guys, because holy shit, that's not... That's not good area to be in at these high runs. I mean, it's possible, but uh, I don't want to risk it because I have Widow's Wine and Quick Revive and Speed Cola and you know all these great perks. I don't want to risk losing them all because I was trying to act too hard, so to speak, and make the game too tough for myself. So yeah, I think I just need to step down a bit, play a little bit easier, camp here in the back where I'm pretty much. I am pretty much invincible here so long as no one buys that door until about round 20 anyway. Around 20, you know, it might get a bit tough camping, but uh, we shouldn't go down here, especially because I have monkeys. You know, reviving these guys should be a cinch. With monkeys, I can just camp here on the spot, you know, throw a monkey down here and then just sort of run down the map and revive them with quick, re quick revive, which also, you know, helps as well, quick revive. Gives me a great boost alongside the monkeys so that I shouldn't really uh, you know lose whenever I have to revive these guys at all if they do you know decide to camp down the stairs or down here you know these guys can go anywhere on the map and we should be fine so long as I'm camping here with my monkeys and and whatnot you know I think we can definitely get to about round 25 here at least with randoms which with randoms honestly randoms and nectar on Totten round 25 would be a great achievement. I understand that this Nectar on Totten is obviously easier though than the older Nectar on Totten, you know, mainly because we have perks and you can also get Pack a Punch by uh, using the correct Gobble Gums, which if I was going for a high round, or if you're going for a high round, you know, I, I would not recommend this Gobble Gum setup I have on, you know, this is sort of like a casual setup. But if I was going serious, I'd probably have on Crate Power or Wall Power and, you know, um, have uh, the uh, bullet boost, I think you call it, the one that allows you to repack a punch your current weapon. I'd have that one on as well, so that way I could get the uh, the um, the guns upgraded and get blast furnace and dead wire on them. Uh, because dude, you know, a blast furnace on this map on a thunder gun, you know, you'd be getting to round hundred easily. Maybe not on four players, but on solo. You know, man, I really want to fucking play this map on solo and kick some ass. Get a fucking round 100, and yeah, that'll be good. Maybe I'll be like the first to get round 100 on this map on Black Ops 3. Although, you know, if I was gonna do that, I'd probably have to start, you know, trying right away because I think, uh, you know, the competition in the zombies community on the zombies YouTube community it's just, you know, too high nowadays because obviously the game's a lot more popular than it used to be. and you know, in the old days, around 100 on that would have been a great achievement. But you know, nowadays, well, the map's been made a bit easier with the uh, the perks, obviously. But then, you know, also just I think everyone in the community is just there's so many more uh, tryhards, so to speak. And there's nothing wrong with being tryhard because you know, tryhards are the successful ones in life. Tryhards are the are the victors in life, so to speak. If you know what I mean, like. If you're not a tryhard, then ah uh, really ah uh, sorry, just let me take a drink of that awesome monster. Um, you know, if you're not tryhard in life, then you know, well, uh, I can certainly you know reduce your stress levels. You know, I think tryhards get more stressed about things, and you know, stress isn't good. But every man who's a uh, succeeded at life has you know tried hard because if you want above average results you know you have to put in the effort and try hard you know natural ability or intellect alone is not going to uh, help you. You know if Albert Einstein for instance hadn't you know studied physics or hadn't made an effort then he would have just been your average guy and he wouldn't have been that that great really. because he wouldn't have achieved anything but obviously you know he put a lot of work into his craft his his passion his you know hobby which was physics and uh, as a result he excelled that scientific field which i think is a wonderful thing you know einstein like he's a 
he's a great uh, role model to have. There are so many great uh, role models out there, but you know, you just have to uh, read some of their books, watch some of their uh, interviews, and maybe you know, subscribe to their YouTube channel and watch some of their YouTube videos. Like you know, me for instance, I'm the most uh, glorious role model you can have in the world at the moment right now and you know it's very easy to pick uh, your you know your role model all you have to do is like the video share it on Facebook and uh, worship me basically <laughs> now I'm only taking the piss guys I'm only kidding but uh no I'm really not you know I am the most glorious role model to have in the 20th century and to 21st century and to follow me all you got to do is just as I say you know like my videos share them on Facebook pray to me every night and you will be as great as I am no doubt rest assured that's guaranteed well guys honestly I think my teammates are are good teammates to be honest because nobody's bought that door yet it's round 15 We've only had two downs collectively on the team. Everyone's got decent kills. There's no one who's really letting the team down, so to speak. I think I got pretty fucking lucky with my randoms today because all these guys are at least decent zombie players. And to be honest, I was kind of worried at the start, you know, because if you read these guys' ranks, they are pretty low rank. You know, they're only first prestige, which is pretty pathetic, to be honest, nowadays. Not meaning to insult these guys, because as I said, you know, these guys are great zombie players. These guys kick ass, and you know they're great additions to my team. Honestly, you know I will make an effort to revive these guys and work with these guys to get the highest run we can possibly get as to as a team. But uh, yeah, these guys are cool, and uh, I got really lucky, I guess, with this game. You'd almost think, you know, I staged it or something. You know, these guys aren't actually randoms and that they're my fucking friends or something, but. No, I mean, I don't know these fucking guys at all, you know, I don't even think any of them speak English, because if you look at the names, like, they just... They don't look like they're, uh, come from, you know, places that speak English, so I, I wouldn't even know how to talk to these guys, really. Because my understanding of language is pretty, uh, limited at the moment. Which is unfortunate, I, I want to learn more languages. Going off topic here, I mean, I know we're killing zombies and shit, but... You know, I really want to learn more languages so that I can sort of travel around Europe because it's a, you know, Europe's a great place to live, really. Um, with all the, the countries and different cultures you have, and yeah, Europe's, Europe's a pretty cool place to live just because you can travel and learn all these different sort of languages and you can live in all these different countries if you're part of the um, EU, so... Not that the UK is part of the EU anymore, but uh, uh, yeah, not much I can do about that. Really. And I'm not—I don't know if that's a bad thing or not. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to get political here, you know. It is what it is. You know, it has its positives and it has its negatives. I'm sure, as with any deal, really. Oh man, I hope this is fucking recording because you know I'm not really sure it is at the moment. Hey, is this thing on? Testing, testing, one, two, three. <laughs> I don't fucking know, guys. I hope it is. We can hope. I think I want to get a ray gun, though, because a ray gun Mark II would be absolutely glorious to have on that. Just, um, to be able to slaughter all of the hell pigs with an absolute might. Ah, the bootlegger. Might hold on to that just because that's a unique weapon. Nah, no, nah. MP40 is better. <laughs> guys, I just realized I still don't have fucking Juggernog. Like, what the fuck? Okay, guys, I'll stop spamming the box. I can see you guys are knifing. You know, you're getting pretty pissed off right about now.